Hello and welcome to JMP's Troll Class Review. I am your host John Nario and today I'll be talking about the night. The knight is a physical base character that uses a melee as a weapon of choice, so its focus is close range combat. It has a 30% bonus to its base maximum health, so the knight has a higher base health than average without any gears or gems. The knight also has a bad dodge, so this character has a bad speed momentum. The knight is a very easy to use class and is very powerful. It is best used as a damage type character, but do not worry if you're using the knight as a tank, I've seen many tanks and they do wonder. This makes this class very versatile in all playstyle and a great starting class. Now let's talk about the knight's combat ability and passive as well. Let's start with the basic attack on the knight. The basic attack of the knight has a base multiplier of 2.5 times damage. It is higher than most characters in the game and it is also affected by attack speeds, meaning using attack speed in gear is good on the knight. It has a range of 3 blocks and it attacks in a horizontal pattern meaning it can hit multiple enemies really easily. And it also applies the retribution debuff. Speaking of debuff, the knight's passive ability is called retribution. Retribution reduces the target outgoing damage by 5% for 10 seconds when you hit an enemy with a basic attack. Basic attack also refreshes its duration. This is the weakest part about the knight's arsenal since most mobs either hit really hard or they do barely any damage at all. The knight has two normal abilities and an ultimate ability like all characters in the game. So let's start with the first ability, Smash. Smash description reads, crush cowardly enemies beneath your weapon of choice. It has an 8x multiplier and it has a range of roughly 5 blocks and it can hit enemies one block below you. This ability is also capable of destroying block and it has a 1 second animation startup. The smash is a great ability but it can feel very clunky to some people since the, it has an animation startup before doing any damage. The knight doesn't feel like it has a very fast kill time but the damage is amongst the highest in the game. This is the knight's main attacking tool from the beginning of the game and like all ability is not affected by attack speed. The second ability which you get at level 3 is called Charge and it reads Launch through the heart of the opposition. It has a 4.5 times multiplier and it has a range of around 12 block in distance. The charge can go through enemies and stun them for 1 second and can damage blocks as well. This ability is the nice mobility tool. It's one of the best mobility tools in the game and it can be activated in midair. Not a very good damage ability, but really good if you want to move around as the knight. The ultimate ability which you get at level 5 is named Iron's Will. And the description reads, heal your knightly body and shield it from harm. This is the only ultimate ability that doesn't do or affects your damage output, but it's really good since you recover 100% of your health reduces your damage taken by 50% and you get 100% more stability which is okay. And when activated 7 other players can get the shield as well and 10% of the damage they take is redirected to the knight which is awful if you are a damaged knight since this can kill you in an instant. This ultimate has a 10 second duration and it has a 40 second cooldown. That's all the normal abilities and now let's talk about the class gem ability. Like all classes, the knight has a class gem ability and it's called Spirit Squire, which reads, Charge no longer propels you forward, instead, a Spirit Squire charges forward through multiple enemies, dealing damage and stunning them, which means you lose all mobility in sacrifice for more DPS and better long range capabilities. It has a 8 times multiplier as well and the projectile has a range of 9 blocks, stuns for 1 second and can go through enemies. Making this an amazing AoE area of effect ability with great damage and can be used to perma stun enemies. 
Like I said before, you lose all mobility since you can no longer cast the charge ability. I would recommend getting the class gem if you are using the knight as a speed farming character that doesn't use attack speed. But if you like attack speed on the knight, then this class gem is not 100% necessary. So that's the class gem on the knight. Now let's talk about one of the reasons you should have a knight with good power rank. Before I talk about the subclass, I'll tell you how the subclass works first. There is one character level and one power rank. Levels 1 through 9 gives you the starting tier. At level 10, you get the second tier, then it's on a 5 level interval to keep increasing the subclass tier, capping at tier 6 at level 30. And power rank's tier 1 is a 1 power rank. And at 5000 power rank is the second tier. Then it's on a 5000 power rank interval, capping also at tier 6 at 25000 power rank. Also, you get a bonus power rank when equipping a subclass. Levels 1 through 9, you get 15 bonus power rank. At level 10, you get 15 more power rank. Then it's every 5 level you get 15 bonus power rank until you hit level 30, which gives you a total of 90 power rank. So when you're equipping a different character subclass, this power rank doesn't count towards the tier list. That's why you might see the power rank on a character lower than usual when equipping a subclass. Now that that's out of the way, the knight has the best utility subclass in the game which increases movement speed while riding ground based mounts. Also it gives flask capacity, which increases based on your character level. Levels 1 through 9 gives you 1 flask, 10 to 14, 2 flask, 15 to 19, 3, 20 to 24, 4, 25 to 29, 5, and at level 30 you get a total of 6 extra flask. And the subclass on power rank increases your mount movement speed on the ground. That doesn't count on gliding and it affects all mounts, including the one with lower base movement speed than the rest, like the turtle tank. At 1 to 4999, your mount moves at a 95 movement speed. 5000 to 9999, 97, 10,000 to 14999 is 100 which is the same as wins by the way, 15,000 to 19,999 is 105, 20,000 to 24,999 is 110, and 120 is 25,000 power rank or more. This makes the knight one of the most useful characters to power up since it brings so many benefits to other characters when equipping the knight subclass to them. That's all on the knight. This is my favorite character in the game due to having insane damage, having great AoE capabilities, and a great subclass to use it on other classes. It is great on all combat purposes and is decent in everything, including Shadow Towers. It has poor mobility when you have the class gem, but it's still very fun to play. Anyways, thank you for watching, let me know what you think of the class and also let me know which class should I work on on the next episode and feedback is greatly appreciated. As always, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time, take care and keep on hunting. See ya!